So this is our show titled N765, and it's a show about environmentalism and sustainability, and we're just kind of spotlighting some artists that are talking about those things in their work. And we have five different things that we're focusing on throughout this show that each artist is specifically talking about. So this is Kat Oglecki's micro series that she went to the Old Forest in Overton Park and took a pocket microscope with her and she just captured some everyday things in nature that we would normally overlook or not pay much attention to and tried to capture them in a very beautiful, also slightly scientific way so that we have a deeper understanding and connection with them. So there's things like bark and moss and leaves that we might not even pay any attention to on our walks there, but she framed them in a way that gives them importance and space that we don't usually give them and allows us to see them in a different way. So this is Brandon Ballinger's Framework of Absence series, and he takes original illustrations and finds ones with extinct species and cuts out those species. And then he frames them in double glass so that you can see straight through them and see the physical absence that is left because that species no longer exists. And when he's done cutting them out, he actually burns the ashes of the uh, piece that he cut and then puts them in an urn to kind of create this space where you can mourn for them. And he always shows the urns with the pieces so that you can physically see the representation of every animal that has gone extinct recently. So this is Caitlin Dunn's Flower of Life and it's made out of bicycle rims and spokes and we're using this piece to talk about transportation and alternate ways of transportation in Memphis and what needs to be done and what is already happening to allow for a more sustainable system of transportation in our city. And this is also just a beautiful piece that kind of brings a new life to these old bicycle rims and spokes and gives them another way to be seen and appreciated. This is Maisie Craddock's Inner Rarity Point, and she used recycled brown paper to paint some brush and tree outlines and gouache, and then projected water on top of that in a loop. And it's about the future of the environment and coastlines uh, with climate change letting water levels rise and thinking about what will happen to those coastlines soon. And so we're using this to talk about our own water sources, such as the aquifer, and what we can do to protect those.